What's up, Barfly fam? We're doing a mint julep today. <laughs> Marius is looking at me behind the camera like, what? Hey, man, I'm just trying to be like more fun, more YouTube. What's up, guys? We're doing a mint julep today. No, but seriously, today we are doing a mint julep. We have partnered up with Barfly Mixology Gear because they are doing a Kentucky Derby giveaway. So watch this video first, because that's what you should do, and then go to Instagram and uh, type in Barfly Mixology Gear and then uh, see their post on the giveaway and go win some stuff. Good luck to you. All right, I think we should get into making the drink first. What do you think, Marius? Uh, yeah. Is it Marius approved? Yep. I'm not doing anything until it's Marius approved from now on. You gonna hold me to that? All right, that's the new that's the new uh, that's the new rule here at Barfly. If it's not Mary's approved, it ain't happening. All right, so first thing we are gonna do making this drink, we're gonna take a little palm of mint. We're getting mint from Marius's backyard these days, which is pretty nice. Uh, and what I like to do is take the mint that I'm going to use the sprigs from in my mint julep, strip them off, put them there. I like to have a nice big bushy uh, mint sprig bush, I guess, for my juleps. Uh, so just a little, I don't know, probably about 10, eight to 10 leaves. Uh, then we're gonna do, get the smooch off my hand, and we're gonna do one sugar cube into the bottom of the glass, and then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup, and then we're gonna do two ounces of bourbon, bourbon of your choice. I am using Old Grandad 100 Proof Bonded, one of my workhorse bottles. But uh, I think, I think, don't quote me, but I think Woodford Reserve is the uh, official Kentucky Derby bourbon. I believe so. Or maybe it was just a couple years ago. I think it is. I think it is. And then we just add two ounces of bourbon. And then we are going to put that aside. Give this a little crushy poo. But what you want to do here is you want to just press the mint and you want to also break up the sugar cube, which is going to be easier to do now that the burb is in here. And you don't want to shred the mint because it will get a little too vegetal in flavor. So there you go. Then we're gonna add in our pebble ice and we're just gonna fill it up a little ways, all right? We're just gonna fill it up a little ways and then we're gonna give it a nice stir. And just sort of combine everything, give it a nice chill, little chill, little dilution. And then top it off with a snow cone. And by a snow cone, I mean a pebble cone, if that's a thing. Uh, pebble cone here. A snow cap? Well, this is like pebbles, though. It's not really snow, is it? If we had taken a Lewis bag and made uh, and made like actual crushed ice, it would have been like a snow cone, pretty much, or a snow right. cap. Yeah. But this is like a pebble cap. It's pebbles of ice. Marius is looking at me like, that's not a distinction you should be making. Even though you're the one that gets very semantic about things, what? just just about things in general. No, I know, but then you were looking at me like, ah, snow cap, pebble cap, that doesn't make any sense. It's a snow cap, dude. That's what the look on your face said to me. Uh, and then we're just gonna, let's see, this isn't bushy enough for me, see? That's, ah, ah, and I'm dropping. That's not bushy enough. So we're gonna actually pull some more mint here and I'll show you what a good, good mint bush is. Bushy mint is what we want, guys. Here, so. Take that, take this guy. I feel like a, a floral arranger. A florist, is that what it's called? A florist? A florist. Someone who arranges flowers? Well, they sell flower, uh, flowers, yeah. I mean, they necessarily arrange them. Yeah, I mean, people who sell, like flower shops make arrangements for people all the time, I would think. But I've, I, you know, honestly, it's been a while since I've actually, actually used a florist for anything. Uh, and there you have it, your mint julep. And you wanna put the straw, your little sippy cylinder, uh, right next to the mint here uh, so that you smell it as you drink it. You know, you want it to inform your taste. Let's have a sip. Oh, that's wonderful. So basically what you get is just a whole bunch of 
semi-diluted 100 proof bourbon just sitting in some sugar and some mint. It has got that nice sharp kind of sugar flavor. Um, and I gotta say that a lot of people uh, ask me why I do a sugar cube and a simple syrup as well. Uh, and basically what you want is that the sugar cube is on a time release. So the sugar cube is about half an ounce of sugar. You add another quarter ounce to basically make three quarters of an ounce of sugar. You add the simple syrup so that it gives you that instant sweetness to sort of kind of balance out like the mint flavor and kind of give uh, the bourbon a little sugar pop, but that 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 sugar cube is gonna be diluting as you drink. And so it's gonna get a little bit sweeter and a little bit sweeter and the drink is going to kind of naturally evolve as you drink it. Um, uh, it is a fantastic drink. It's one of my absolute favorite favorites and it's one of the oldest. This actually, this drink predates the cocktail. So there you have it. It is the very dream of drinks, the vision of sweet quaffings. The bourbon and the mint are lovers in the same land they live and on the same food they are fostered. The mint dips its infant leaf into the same stream that makes the bourbon what it is. The corn grows in the level lands through which small streams meander. By the brookside, the mint grows. As the little wavelets pass, they glide up to kiss the feet of the growing mint. The mint bends to salute them, gracious and kind it is, only living for the sake of others. The crushing of it only makes its sweetness more apparent. Like a woman's heart, it gives its sweetest aroma when bruised. Among the first to greet the spring it comes, beside the gurgling brooks that make music in the pastures it lives and thrives. And so J. Sol Smith lionized the mint julep in this poem, which is only slightly less romantic than the drink itself. According to David Wondrich, the origin of the julep might date back to a Persian medical text from around 900 and was referred to as julab. The drink was used as medicine and consisted of soaking violets in water and adding a little bit of sugar. Some also believe that the julep can be attributed to the Persian word golab, which means rose water. And both have been used medicinally for hundreds of years. And it stayed strictly medicine until around 1796 when it popped up in the New World. Probably introduced by European immigrants, uh, mint was added and people were drinking it recreationally. Back then, it was a drink which consisted of rum, mint, sugar, and water, basically a mint sling. The modern drink, which is known today, became popular around 1807 after a United States Senator named Henry Clay made the drink famous at the Willard's Hotel Round Robin Bar in Washington, D.C., where he shared the drink with his fellow congressmen, who then shared the drink with their friends, no doubt, and then their friends after that, and then it became very, very popular. It then made an appearance in Jerry Thomas's How to Mix Drinks, or the Bon Vivant's Companion in 1862, uh, with its less notable cousin, the Whiskey Smash, which is basically just a mint julep with the addition of seasonal fruit. Then in 1938, it was made the official drink of the Kentucky Derby, which is what it is most so often associated with today. The Kentucky Derby was and still is one of the most prestigious seen and be seen events of the year. These days, the Kentucky Derby sells mint juleps to something like 150,000 people who attend, but this year it's gonna be 100% virtual. And so I'm hoping that that 150,000 people come here to the Educated Barfly make their mint juleps and uh, celebrate the Derby Day with us. Uh, if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and remember to go to uh, Barfly Mixology Gear's Instagram, check out the details of the giveaway and go win yourself some mint julep stuff and I will see you guys on Derby Day.